qualifying for the final. So fourth and final heat coming up, and of course the home team, the Texas Longhorns, will be highlighted in this heat. Yeah, all eyes are on Texas. You know, that's why people are out here. They're obviously here to cheer their own teams, but everyone loves to see the home team perform. And, and Coach Flo said he didn't know how things were going to go this weekend. He knows that they have been on an emotional roller coaster ride, but they said they've been wanting to put this show on, and they're excited that they're back in full capacity for the first time. And, uh, you know, it's just nice for the alumni, but all of the other track fans that are out here to see the Longhorns come out for the first time as the men won the indoor championships. 30901 is the bubble time. So if you aren't winning this heat, you need to finish faster than that in order to qualify through on time. There are the lane assignments. And there are no scratches in this fourth heat. Focusing on Texas in the middle of the track in lane five. John Maz, the senior, is slated to run. The leadoff, Jonathan Jones, their great 800-meter runner, just missed the meet record by a hundredth of a second yesterday in that 800. He is slated to run second. Well, this 4x4 four four team was second indoors when they clinched that, that team title just a couple weeks ago. And if it weren't for that grit determination, I mean, they were really hanging on to that final 4x4 final four four race. Here's a lot of personnel changes here in these prelims. Colorado running hard in lane six. They passed the baton first. And Tarleton stayed on the outside in nine. Texas has got some work to do. South Plains even ahead of the Longhorns at this point. When you guys have been talking about it, we've been talking about it, how times at relays, you know, people are in these races and they switch the program or they switch the lineup right by the start line. Sometimes I can remember being in the right, getting out on the track and my coach saying, nope, Carrie, you're going to fourth leg or switch to second leg. And that's what happens. But this is what coaches want to do. They're preparing themselves for conference and NCAAs. They want to be able to tell an athlete right when they need them to get on the line and they need to have an athlete be intense whether you think you're running or not. That is Brian Heron on the second leg for the Longhorns and not Jonathan Jones. 45-6 for Heron, so a very good relay carry that put his Longhorns back in the lead after being third at the exchange and even falling to fourth early in the second round, second leg. Now staying right here, keeping the pressure on, making sure that you get that baton to your anchor leg. This is what they need to do. Hold everybody off on the turn and hammer it home in the final stretch. This is Micaiah Harris, and he's getting all he can handle from Tarleton State's Reed Vincent. Now separation appearing. Colorado now back in it. Texas hands first. Colorado, Tarleton State. Running this first turn is so important. Get out, get going, regroup on the back stretch, and then really pour it on that final 200. So Jonathan Jones not on this team at all for Texas, yet they still lead. John, this is John Moss. He was supposed to run leadoff, and Colorado is not giving up on this. This is supposed to be Aaron McCoy, their senior on anchor, and we've got a good race up this finishing stretch between the Buffs and the Longhorns. Trying to pass hard on that turn, but look who's charging in three. Not going to get him. Texas. Oh, did I speak too soon? No. Texas, Texas wins it. Gets the automatic qualifier very close between, between Colorado and I think that was Tarleton State. They were up there for much of the race. 306-38 for the Longhorns. Certainly not running their best team. Looks like South Plains. South Plains. This was going to shape up to be a good race between these two. Trying to pass on the outside. Almost in lane two, the buffs go. And watch how our Longhorn just keeps the pressure on right there on that turn. That's John Maz for Texas. 
then for South Plains, that's supposed to be Hassan Hatib. Again, a freshman. They ran an all-freshman team. And they ran fast enough to get a time qualifier. And he takes a bow. I love it. 46-3 for Maz on that anchor. 45-9 for South Plains. So they're going to get through on time, as will Colorado. But Texas wins it automatically through. So that is all the men's 4x400 prelims. Back with more from the Texas Relays right after this.